Welcome to ProStitcher Designer Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. I want to show you how to use the carousel design feature. Let's start by opening a new design page. Click on the Home tab and then select New. A new design page will load. Next, we want to draw a simple artwork shape. So let's go to the Tools tab and select Artwork. I will click here on the bottom half of the button and then choose the leaf from the drop down file. I want to draw a leaf that is two inches wide and three inches tall. So using my mouse cursor, which you'll notice has a little leaf attached to it, I will put my cursor right there on the corner of the grid and then I'm going to stretch it over so that it's two inches wide and three inches tall. My grid here is set up in one inch increments, so it's pretty easy to see exactly what I'm doing. Next, I want to select my leaf using the shape tool. Over here in the quick access toolbar, let's click on the shape tool. I now have the nodes showing on my leaf. I want to move my start point from here to here on the top of the leaf. So right here on the top of the leaf, I'm going to do a right click and choose split line. That moves my start point from the side over here up to the top. Now let's go ahead and start using the carousel tool. The carousel tool is found here under the tools tab in the create section. It arranges designs in a wreath shape or a round shape. So let's go ahead and click on it and open the carousel window. First thing I want to do is change my width and my height. I want my width to be three inches, so on my keyboard I'll type in a three. And because I have this keep aspect ratio selected, both of my designs are going to change to the same. It's three and three, which is exactly what I want. The other variable that I want to change, and you can see how it's changed my design over here, is I want to change this individual pass settings my angle right here. I'm going to change it to 180, so 180, and I'll click Apply. Right here in this preview window, it lets me see my design. Look how easy that was to take that leaf shape. We rotated it so that the start points are all here in the center, and that way it will stitch out uh, continuously. I will click OK, and the design is now going to load on my design page. From here, you can assign stitches and see how it'll stitch out. So let's go to the Preview tab, select the Preview tab, and then click on Stitches. Let's select Stitch Out, and our simulation bar will load. I'm going to speed up how fast it's going to stitch, and then I'm going to click here on Simulate to see how this design will stitch out. And you can see that it just goes all starting from the center around and around and around. Well, thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoy using the carousel tool.